Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, you just understood the concept of what actually we will be doing in the demo. It basically starts with the first step wherein you define a result receiver in an activity. Result receiver is nothing but a parcelable which will be used to send across the information between an activity and a intent service. And you start the intent service with that result receiver. Then you update the result receiver with the address, which of course you will get it from the geocoder and get from location method of the geocoder. And then you use the result receiver to send the response, which contains the address to back to the activity. And in the activity, in the final step, you receive the address from the result receiver and update the UI. So the task one and five happen on the activity side Task 2, 3, 4 happen on the service side. As you can see here, the data is being thrown around between the activity and the service. To make sure that this happens properly, we will have to basically define some constants which will act as keys to hold the values when you share the data across different components. Well, I think this much is enough to understand what exactly we will be doing in the demo. So let's get into a demo. Welcome to the same old project that we have been implementing. Uh, we have slightly modified that code now. This is the modified layout file. Now you have a button here. When you click this particular button, you are supposed to see an address here. Whatever the earlier support mat fragment was there, now I have put it as a separate fragment tag here. And if you go back to the constants interface, this is a new interface that I have defined here. It basically contains certain constants that I will be using across the application. For example, to indicate whether I have successfully got the result or not, there is a constant called as success result and failure result. And then I have a address fetcher service, which is just a class now, empty class. We will be implementing it by making this particular class extend an intent service. And then we have a map activity. And this is where we will be actually initiating the address fetcher service. Well, to do that, we have this address result receiver, which is a empty class right now, which should actually extending result receiver. So let's do that it's a nested class that is private class address result receiver extends result receiver and you need to have constructor you need to pass handler and then super handler so that's about the constructor the next part is implementing or overriding the on receive result method and this is where the actual fun happens so this is the method that gets called whenever you receive any information into the address result receiver. So what I will do is if result code is equal to constants dot success result, I will do a few things else. I have now got failure result. I will have to do certain other set of things. So what I will do here is I have a location address defined, which is of type string. So what I will do is result code, not the result code, result data, which is a bundle dot get string and then constants dot result data key. This is the key against which I am expecting the address to be returned. Then I have a text view here, which needs to be updated. So text view address dot set text location address is address requested is a Boolean variable, which I am using to keep track of whether I have initiated the service or not. So once I get back the address, this Boolean variable needs to be initialized to false. And then just to indicate that it was a successful return, I probably want to set the text of the color to something useful. And then the other possibility is you basically failed to get the address. So in that case, location address will not be actually an address. It will be a error message. So whatever it is, it would be result data, basically the same thing that we had written earlier. And then text address dot set text location address. And then I once again want to set the color, but probably I will use red color, which is defined here. So that's about 
what should happen on the address result receiver then when the user clicks on the button that is button get address get address i should basically check whether the geocoder is present and if it is not present then show an appropriate error message or else if it is present then i have to basically start the service so how do i do that well if geocoder dot is present is the method so if it is not present so not operator else basically i should start address fetcher service and what is that method that method is here so what will i be doing this particular address fetcher service is basically a intent service so right now it doesn't extend any intent service extends intent service this is the missing part and if it is an intent service you have to override the on handle intent and you have to implement the constructor as well and super you have to pass a string here instead of passing any string let me create a tag and pass that tag here and here i will have to basically handle the result receiver and trigger the get from location method to get the address but even before that i have to declare this particular service in the manifest file so let me open the manifest file uh, okay it's already declared in the manifest file so that is already taken care so let me go back to the map activity and it's finally here that i should do the triggering of the address fetch service well to do that i would need a intent new intent pass this as the first argument and second argument is the address fetcher service dot class then you need a address receiver which i have declared here as a instance variable is equal to new address receiver new handler and then i should put this receiver as a part of the intent so intent dot put extra constant dot receiver address result receiver then intent dot put extra constants dot location data extra and then here i will be sending the current location current location is the location data that we would have already got it from the previous step here so we are sending the location and the receiver both as a parcelable to the intent and then start the service and pass the intent if this happens the idea is this particular on handle intent of the service should get triggered so i think we have done one part of the implementation that is implementing the address result receiver and then starting the address fetch service using the intent with the appropriate configuration the remaining part is to actually now implement address fetch service i think let me stop here we will see the remaining implementation in the next video so stay tuned that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye